Mark, can you lead us in prayer? Um, okay. Um, dear Heavenly Father, thanks for the nice week that we have, that you gave us plenty, gave us plenty of rain for the drought. And Father, we came here and also pray for the virus situation. Hope that you will help us and get the virus. Um, take care of the virus and it will be gone soon. And Father, we also pray for the vaccine that is going to get, is going to work for everybody and less people to get sick. And also Father, we pray for tonight's um, Bible study and help us to understand your words more and bless the one gave us the <clears throat> insight of the of your words and let us remember what you will remain for us and we pray for in the name of jesus christ amen 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 <laughs> okay we got a um, um we got a new well you know i call it a new subject you know so um, uh, uh, we'll see how it work out. Yeah. All right. Uh, today's subject is uh, Isaac love both Esau and Jacob. <laughs> Esau. Yeah. Well, we, you know, uh, in the previous time, you know, uh, we talk about Isaac um, love Esau and Rebecca love Jacob. And uh, that was in the, the Genesis uh, chapter 25. But, you know, because Isaac is actually uh, Jesus, picture of Jesus. So, you know, Isaac, uh, well, you know, Jesus uh, told Nicodemus, uh, God so loved the world. So, you know, God loved the world. You know, Esau is the world, picture of the world. And, um, yeah, because uh, Esau is called, also called Edom, remember? And Edom is uh, actually same spelling as Adam, which means uh, wet blood, you know, wet blood man. <laughs> so, you know, uh, so Esau is actually represent the world, you know. So Jesus, you know, our God, you know, sent his son to save the world, not just to save, you know, the children of Israel. A lot of people misunderstand, you know, because... Uh, if you say, oh, uh, God is the God of Israel. So, you know, seems like God uh, is going to, you know, give, uh, you know, only, uh, uh, you know, preferential uh, treatment. Yes, he, they did, you know, because, uh, you know, he, he did reach out to Jacob first, you know, so Jacob get the first blessing <laughs> in the old covenant. But you know the father, you know that Jesus also said the first become last and last become first. So so much for that. Okay. Now so two weeks ago, you know uh, we uh, kind of follow along, you know, uh, to see, uh, you know, what can, we can uh, glimpse, you know, from the uh, you know Old Testament Bible, and uh, we will, you know, try to follow the uh, progress of the. Um, uh, you know, uh, they have the Torah portion, you know, they read a uh, Torah sections uh, about three chapters and uh, a few chapters also in uh, prophets um, in every Sabbath. So they they selected uh, something like uh, 50 some portions for every year. And so generally it's about the same time that they would read those uh, portions. So uh, two weeks ago, we, we found out the word see is same as appear, you know, see is same as appear, you know. Uh, so gin and uh, begin is the same, you know, God appeared to us. But, you know, you know, we have to look unto him first, you know, otherwise, you know, um, how, how do we make a two-way, uh, you know, communications, right? So we look unto him and then so he see us. And um, so he appear to us, you know, that's how visions and dreams come about, you know. And then last week, you know, we have come and go. <laughs> come and go last week. It's the same word, you know, because uh, God is uh, the a spirit and then so he is uh, beyond time and space, 
he's not uh, you know statics um, you know like a, a person a person is only can appear in one place only <laughs> only in the present time cannot be past cannot be future but God is both uh, beyond the time and space constraint you know he created the universe so you know he's beyond you know the space and he's beyond the time but he is um, among us like today you know when in the name of jesus then we have a study of the bible uh, jesus is uh, in the midst of us you know <laughs> so you know that was last week so what's this week? <laughs> today, today is January 29th. It's also the beginning of the uh, Sabbath for the uh, um, you know Jewish uh, people, and so uh, they have a portion today. The portion is uh, starting from Exodus 13, 17, chapter 7, 13, verse 17, and so uh, the word that uh, they use as a title is "let go." let go <laughs> let go is like um you know i remember when i grow i, I, I grew up in um, hong kong um in um you know uh, in a elementary school and uh, they were teaching a song you know uh, uh you know a, you know a spiritual song you know for the black uh, you know when they were slave you know they they, they have this uh, popular song called let my people go <laughs> Let my people go, you know, it was about the, um, the Moses, you know, uh, tell fellow, let my people go, you know, so um, I, I remember that song very well, you know, it, it, it was a very good song. But anyway, so let go is uh, come from this, uh, this words, let go. <laughs> oh. hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful, you know, that uh, uh, you know, uh, back in those days, you know, the uh, even the school, you know, teach, uh, you know, these kind of things, you know, it kind of filter down, you know, and then somehow, you know, you know, uh, bring about my faith, you know, in the Lord Jesus. So, so this is the Torah portion for this, this week. Bishallah, uh, Bishallah, 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 you know. And then, you know, it turned out, you know, they even uh, translate it differently, you know, depend on what translation, of course. So uh, they say sent, when he sent. But if you look at uh, the uh, the uh, English uh, King James and so forth, you know, it's um, more like let go. So, but uh, it's either way, it's either way. So the meaning of the title, the meaning of the title Bishala means when he sent. Uh, actually, the, you know, the uh, the translation is, and it happened when Pharaoh sent out or let go, actually let go the people. <laughs> uh, so send and let go is the same word, you know. Now, uh, the, uh, the portion they are going to read tomorrow afternoon, you know, uh, uh, on the uh, near the end of Sabbath, is uh, this portion like from chapter 13 to uh, uh, Exodus 13 to 17. Uh, and uh, and then also reading uh, the book of Judges uh, chapter four and five. And uh, those, so those are the outline outline. And uh, the, the main part is the, the let, you know, Pharaoh let the people go and they cross the Red Sea. They cross the Red Sea. And um, and then also uh, by chapter seventeen, you know, um, the uh, you know they were near the uh, Mount Sinai, and uh, where they have uh, a lead, uh, they, they need water, and then uh, Moses hit the rock, and the water come out from the rock. So that is the uh, the portion. You know, we have talked about that previously. And uh, I think uh, it was uh, kind of interesting, you know, because um, this is uh, the, you know, because uh, the uh, the churches, not just one church, you know, most of the churches and uh, also the printing of the their, uh, Bible, you know, they uh, they produce a map, you know, that is, uh, I, I believe, you know, that is uh, pretty um, um, incorrect. And so, you know, I'm going to, uh, 
you know, talk about the uh, the way they come out from uh, Egypt. And, uh, you know, so we have previous time, you know, we have talked about that too. And uh, I'm using uh, another, uh, some of the slides uh, from another, uh, uh, you know, website, you know, I think it's BiblePorn.net uh, or something like that. So I, I'm using them, you know, because uh, they, they are pretty good, you know. And uh, so this one is talking about, you know, uh, the, the reason they, they established that uh, route is uh, they think, you know, Mount Sinai is here in Sinai Peninsula. This Sinai Peninsula. Uh, this is the Gulf of uh, Suez. Uh, this is the Gulf of Aqaba. Actually, the whole thing, like a Y, is a Red Sea. You know, this the whole thing is called Red Sea. And uh, so, uh, what happened was, uh, you know, uh, when Constantine become uh, Christians, you know, uh, you know, fourteen, uh, sixteen hundred years some ago, and uh, his mother is uh, very devoted, and so. Uh, you know, she uh, visited, um, you know, Holy Land, uh, uh, I don't know how many times, but uh, she almost decided uh, a lot of places, you know, this is Mount Sinai, this is the, you know, this is that, you know, and so, so based on that, you know, everybody believed because uh, they are the Roman emperor <laughs> or empress, you know. And this is how, what the Mount Sinai, you know, what they claim the Mount Sinai in my, uh, Sinai Peninsula look like, you know, I haven't been there, but I think uh, some of the, uh, you know, uh, many people will visit that, you know. So uh, they come out with the route, you know, like coming out from Egypt and they cross the, the uh, where now is the Suez Canal, you know, and then, uh, and then somehow they just uh, spend, you know, something like 40 years, 38 years, you know, um, uh, you know, in this uh, small peninsula and, uh, you know, uh, coming through Mount Sinai here, you know, receiving the uh, uh, the Ten Commandments, you know, before they cross over, um, you know, at the end of the journey. That's what the uh, traditional uh, church and also uh, most of the printed Bible, you know, if they have a map, you know, they, they, they kind of you know, um, claim that, you know, so they claim the Red Sea is here, you know, where now is uh, actually, you know, they are, you know, a, a, a bunch of marshland here, you know, and then so uh, they are very shallow lakes. And, um, but uh, they claim that, you know, that's uh, where they they have uh, uh, killed all the pharaohs' chariots, you know, the, 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 the cavalry or whatever they, you call that. Well, uh, but you know, the, the, the problem is this, you know, what happened is uh, this, this is, uh, you know, what they found out uh, last some 30 years, they found out this place called Jebel La Los, El Los, Jebel El Los, it means I, uh, Almond Mountain, Almond Mountain. Um, and uh, this is very strange, you know, because, uh, uh, you know, they found out, you know, this, this is uh, more likely the real Mount Sinai. So when uh, Moses ran away from Egypt, you know, after he killed somebody, and uh, so he ran away to, uh, you know, supposed to be uh, the Mount of Horeb. And then, where, you know, and he spent 40 years there. And uh, that place is actually in Median, Median. Median is over here in the um, Arab, uh, you know, peninsula. Um, you know, that's the uh, land of Median. You know, it's uh, it's generally accepted. Median is, you know, over here on this side. Uh, you know, of the uh, of the uh, Red Sea, and uh, but uh, so what happened uh, because uh, the. Sinai Peninsula has always been uh, most part of the history belong to Egypt. Egypt uh, was a very strong country. So, you know, e Egypt do not only govern Egypt, but uh, this has always been, uh, uh, you know, in the, in the ancient times, you know, part of the uh, Egypt uh, territories, you know. 
And uh, that's, uh, it would not make sense, you know, when Moses went away and then, you know, he basically spent 40 years among the um, Egyptian uh, 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 soldiers, you know, looking for him, you know, so, you know, it doesn't make sense. And then there's no pasture land, you know, for, for Moses to raise uh, a sheep for the median priest. See, his father-in-law is a median, median light. He's a priest for the median. So, you know, <laughs> so it really doesn't make sense, you know, but uh, anyway, so that has been taught uh, for, um, I don't know, you know, <laughs> since, uh, since um, Constantine, I guess, you know. <laughs> and then uh, also, uh, yeah, basically, you know, that's, uh, that's what I, I'm saying, you know. And uh, so when uh, the law told him to go back, go home to Egypt to, uh, to bring out the uh, children of Israel, so his root would have been like this. You know, this would have been the root uh, sent out from Median and then uh, go out this way. He would never, you know, be uh, spend any time, you know, there was no reason for him to spend the time uh, in the Sinai Peninsula here or the, you know, Moses Mountain, which is what they claim, you know. In fact, in the book of Galatian, uh, well, you know, maybe uh, we can we can go read that. Um, I'm going to uh, have one of you read that. Uh, Wayne, can you read for us? Uh, this uh well let, let me let me adjust this first okay uh from 21 to uh uh, tw uh 26 okay 421 yeah to uh 26 okay yes. tell me you who want to be under the law are you not aware of what the law says? For it is written that Abraham has two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the free woman. His son by slave woman was born in the ordinary way, but his son by the free woman was born as the result of the promise. These things may be ticking figuratively for the woman repent, uh, represent two covenants one covenant is from <clears throat> Mount Sinai and bears children who are to be slaves this is Hagar now Hagar stands for Mount Sinai in Ar Ar Arabia and correct respond to the present city of Jerusalem because she is slavery with her children but the Jerusalem is about is free, and she is our mother. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, thank you. So uh, basically, you know, this is um, you know, uh, <laughs> this is uh, Paul uh, writing, you know. So he's using the Old Testament picture of two women, two sons, and then two mountains. You know. And, and so, you know, he, he is saying, well, you know, uh, uh, Sarah is the free, you know, the new continent. And then the Hagar, Hagar is the old continent, you know, the law, L-A-W. See, you know, he started uh, talking about, oh, you want to go back to law? Don't you, don't you hear about the law, L-A-W? You know, and then he, he, so he used the picture of Abraham of the two sons. One slave woman, well, one maid, and then one wife, the free woman Sarah, and and then you know, and then uh, two sons. One is uh, from the flesh, you know. In other words, uh, you know, they they, uh, you know, it was not uh, you know uh, uh, God's plan, and uh, the other one is who the promise by faith. Okay, e even though it said symbolic, but you, you understand, you know, there's a lot of pictures in the Old Testament Bible 
it is actually what present you know substance uh, in the New Testament. Substance is the New Testament, and the picture is the Old Testament. So these two continents, and, and then you know it, it's very weird. He said the Mount Sinai is in Arabia, not Sinai Peninsula, not Egypt. Mount Sinai is in Sinai Peninsula. So all through history, even Paul's time, Josephus' time, the Mount Sinai is uh, peninsula, uh, you know, in, uh, in Mount Sinai is in Arabia. Okay, so. So having said that, you know, that means, you know, uh, it, Mount Sinai is not here. Even though you call it Sinai Peninsula, you know, so the world, you know, pretend that because the Roman Empire, Emperor decided that, and then, you know, the church that follow along, you know. <laughs> yeah, because why? Well, you know, uh, there's some, some importance of understanding, you know, when, when you have the right, right place. So what happened was Josephus actually, um, you know, have a, a lot of writing and then he called that uh, uh, Sinai is next to the city of Median. And, and Sinai is, um, you know, uh, called Albert, you know, uh, which is, you know, uh, uh, locally they believe that is the, uh, the uh, the uh, the place where uh, the father-in-law, the father-in-law uh, Jephro, remember Jephro, or Lua, you know, and he has two names, you know, very very interesting. And then there, you know, they have a a well of Moses. Remember Moses uh, went over there and then uh, held out the the the, the daughters of uh, the priests uh, with the uh, getting water, drive drove out uh, the uh, the uh, the local shepherds. You know, uh, and and so you know, there there's a well called Moses. <laughs> but there's a the place that is still called El Ben right now. So there is a lot of um, a picture, uh, you know, and then relics, so so to speak, you know. But the relics were was hidden for a long time because uh, this uh, Sinai, uh, this uh, Arabia Peninsula is under the control for the more uh, by the Muslims. Uh, since this uh, seventh century, and so you know, for a long time, you know, nobody uh, mess around with that. You know? So, so all the relics were not uh, approachable, and uh, but uh, it turned out to be good because now uh, we can we can <laughs> we can uh, read it on Google Maps. Now this is a place. Now it's fenced off, and this this is the place near the Mount Sinai. And um, supposedly, this place is uh, where they worship the golden cow. Mm. Uh, you know, of course, uh, this is uh, you know cut and paste. You know, they they put it on top of this, and so uh, uh, you know, the people that found it, and then they they come to a conclusion, and I believe so too, uh, because as uh, soon as they found that, and then also uh, the uh, Saudi uh, uh, Arabia government. Uh, also, you know, found that, you know, by, by you know, uh, you know, and so they fence it off. They don't want people to touch it, uh, uh, visit it anymore, you know. Um, so, um, but anyway, so this is supposed to be the place where they, they, they make the golden calf and then they, they have an orgy uh, and uh, worship their, you know, the their, their gods. The reason why uh, they believe that is there is a lot of carvings see a lot of carvings on the rocks uh, among the, the rock piles that you were looking at. See that? So there's, a, uh, you know, they, they actually have um, all those uh, rock uh, uh, carving still there. And the, and the carving look awfully like, the, you know, those are uh, Egyptian cows, you know, because uh, one of the uh, gods, uh, the Egyptian worship, is is a is a cow, is a is a cow. Huh. Yeah. So I'm telling you, you know, this 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 is very strange, you know. <laughs> and then and then if uh, you notice, you know, this is uh, in uh, in Egypt. Uh, well, not in Egypt. You know, this is in uh, Exodus chapter thirty-two, and uh, so Aaron, 
the future uh, uh, well, you know, the, the priest, the high priest. <laughs> and then uh, he uh, he collect the gold from uh, from them and then uh, he make a, you know, pour a, a golden cup, you know, uh, right on top. And then, but, you know, the way he describe it is, uh, these are your gods, you know, so this is plural. Now, the, the, the calf, the golden calf is one, but the way they describe it, these are your gods, Israel, who brought you out of, of our Egypt. So that means, you know, there are more than one, one, you know, and then, the, you know, turn, turn out the other one is carving on the rocks. See that? They, they put it all on the rocks. Or, or so, so when they worship, you know, they some uh, say, okay, I worship this one, and then but no, this one is good, you know. So so they they put on their own um, <laughs> gods uh, all, all around, you know. So so it's all there, and then it's uh, really accurate in, in the Bible, in the original uh, Hebrew uh, Bible, that yeah, there was an idol cast in the shape of a calf, but there are other cows as well, you know, in, in, in the in the whole thing. Now you don't find any of this uh, in, in the in the tourist spot, you know, the uh, the the uh, Sinai Peninsula. You don't find it, but uh, you you actually see this over here. <laughs> and then uh, they also um, they were uh, supposed to be uh, they were making uh, you know twelve pole or some sort, you know, and then uh, th those are supposed to be the pole that, um, you know, uh, signify the 12 tribes, you know. And then the other, you know, um, evidence is uh, they, they found a cave is uh, on Mount Sinai. And that cave is supposed to be the uh, Elijah's cave. Remember when um, Elijah uh, was threatened by a woman, the queen or uh, um, Jezebel, and uh, he was so scared. So uh, he ran, run, run, 40 days and 40 nights. <laughs> run to, back to the Mount Sinai, you know, because uh, Elijah, um, you know, as a prophet, you know, he represented the LAW. Yeah, so, um, you know, <laughs> anyway, so uh, he was hiding in this cave. And uh, so, you know, uh, yeah, he went back to, uh, you know, uh, Mount Horeb, you know, because uh, he thought that God was there. And then, and then uh, God, uh, the Lord, uh, you know, helped him, you know, gave him uh, enough food uh, uh, along the way, you know, so he can run, uh, have the strength for 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, but, you know, when he got there and then he said, Elijah, Elijah, you know, what are you doing here? That's the prophet, uh, you know, Elijah. <laughs> but he still loved him, you know. He uh, just take him out uh, later on um, by the golden chariot, you know, uh, sometime later. So, uh, yeah, you know, and then, uh, you know, he also, you know, the Lord, uh, you know, want, to, uh, want us to know, you know, it's not the, it's not the Mang uh, Sangai because of course, uh, not by now we know that, you know, it's uh, Jerusalem. It's the uh, heavenly Jerusalem, not even the, 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 the you know, Jerusalem on, on earth. But anyway, um, so it's not in the wind, it's not in the fire, it's not in the earthquake. It is in a still, small, still voice. You know, the Lord, you know, doesn't have to, uh, you know, use all those, you know, um, you know, he would prefer to talk to us in the you know, um, just like the Holy Spirit in the small, uh, still voice. Now, also in uh, in the almond mountain area, they do have almonds because uh, you know Aaron's, uh, uh, you know the the the, the stick of Aaron, it is uh, the budding is a butter tree of almonds, and then they also have olive tree. They have a, uh, you know, um, you know the um, you know the wood. Um, uh, they also have the wood, uh, you know, to be used for the uh, ark, uh, the ark of covenant, and things like that. So now here's the kicker, and that is the ma, you know, uh, the split rock of Moses. I'm going to show you later on on the Google Map. 
different angle. Even now. <laughs> mm. And uh, this is the, you know, <laughs> the enhancement, you know, the enhancement, you know, showing that, you know, uh, this is in uh, Exodus uh, chapter 17, uh, verse 5 and 6. So I'm going to have you guys, uh, one of you guys read it. Okay, uh, who, who's next? Uh, well, uh, uh, Yan Hong, can you read that? Sure. Uh, which verse? From verse oh. one to uh, verse six. Okay, sure. Oh, oh. Say, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, then all the congregation of the children of Israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of Sin, according to the commandments of the Lord, and camped in Raphidim. But there was no water for the people to drink. There, therefore, the people contended with Moses and said, Give us water uh, that we may drink. So Moses said to them, Why do you contend with me? Why do you tempt the Lord? And the people thirsted there for water. And the people complained against Moses and said, Why is it you have brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? With thirst. So Moses cried out to the Lord, saying, What shall I do with these people? They are almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said to Moses, Go on before the people and take with your some of their elders of Israel. Also, take in your hand your rod with which you struck the river and go. Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock in Horeb. Horeb. And you shall strike the rock, and the water will come out of it, and the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. So he called the name of the place Massah and Meribah because of the contention of the children of Israel, and because they tempted the Lord, saying, Is the Lord among us or not? Mm, thank mm -hmm. you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the rock of Horeb. And actually, the Lord told him, I'm going to stand before the rock, and then you're going to strike the rock. <laughs> and yeah, behold, I will stand before you there on the rock of Horeb, and you shall strike the rock. So it is as if he is going to hit Jesus. He, he's going to hit the Lord. And then the water will come out, and that's what happened. <laughs> That's what happened. And then, so, you know, if you think about that, you know, well, this is the, you know, um, actually, this is before the, um, before the um, uh, Mount Sinai, before the uh, Ten Commandments were skipped. This is Exodus 17. You know, Exodus, Exodus 19, they asked for it. And then Exodus 20, they got the Ten Commandments. So this is before it, you know, so this is near Mount Sinai, but, you know, it's uh, just nearby, okay? The rock of horror. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so uh, you know, this, this is important point. Yeah, so, uh, you know, because uh, when you have two, uh, or, well, more than two million, I believe, you know, uh, because they have 600,000, uh, able body men, you know, uh, age 20 and about. And then, you know, including uh, wife, including uh, uh, children, you know, you talk about easily, uh, you know, well, maybe three, two or three million people. So, you know, you need a really big place uh, to have all this water like in a lake. And then, you know, the water would, uh, you know, would wash the, uh, the, uh, you know, the area very well, you know, so uh, they, they would have, uh, you know, sign of uh, some something like a lake bed, you know. And uh, because uh, they also have uh, a lot of uh, animals, 
you know, their livestock uh, follow them. <laughs> so, you know, you need a big place, you know, not a parking lot uh, like uh, the tourist spots in, um, in um, Sanai Peninsula. <laughs> So uh, this is, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, uh, some kind of pictorial showing the size of that, you know. Of course, uh, it's still there. You know, someone uh, took, took a close-up close pictures, you know, so uh, you can think about, whoa, you know, the water come out from the deep. And then uh, it just, you know, it's so amazing, you know, I'm just telling you. But uh, there's no need uh, to go go there and um, have, a, have a, you know, <laughs> pilgrimage there because, uh, you know, that is the picture of Jesus. Jesus, God hit for us. You know, he's the big rock. Yes. <laughs> so, so, you know, so what happened is uh, traditionally they say, oh, they go to, uh, this, this is uh, somehow the Red Sea, you know, and then uh, so uh, the uh, Pharaoh's, uh, uh, you know, uh, chariot, uh, you know, cavalry uh, got drunk there, you know, and then, um, yeah, so uh, they they easily uh, you know uh, get away from, um, but you know there are so many dry places in between. Uh, those are just a marsh, uh, land, lake, and um, if if the pharaoh is so dumb, you know, uh, or uh, you know, any smart, you know, they they would have uh, just you know go through the dry land and then uh, stop them anyway. You know, they would chase them down and kill all of them. You know. So, uh, you know, that uh, doesn't make sense. But because of this kind of teaching, you know, making the God's miracle look small. And uh, so a lot of times, you know, in the ancient, you know, um, a lot of times, you know, the, the P, you know, some of the smart people that thought that they are very smart and they say, well, if this is a miracle, then, um, you know, they, you know, they just cannot accept it. You know, there are so many reasons why, you know, it's not possible. That, that is the Red Sea here. Hmm. And uh, so the Mount Sinai, if you believe, and I believe that, you know, Mount Sinai is over here. And they, uh, they were living over here. And you know, the easiest way would have been this way, but the Lord, you know, did not, uh, you know, um, just want them to easily uh, get into Canaan, you know, because uh, they could just go over this way, but, you know, that wouldn't be, a, um, you know, a, a, you know a necessary good for them. And, and so, you know, uh, in the Exodus 14, uh, he actually have them, you know, when they get to here, he have them to turn back and then uh, get to this way. Uh, I'm going to have uh, one of you read that. Um, uh, Let's see who who is next. <laughs> Maybe me. Okay, sure. Okay, from what from one, one to five. Okay. Exodus chapter fourteen. Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, "Speak to the children of Israel, that they turn and camp before Pi Harith, Har 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 between Middor and the sea, opposite Baal Zippon, you shall camp before it by the sea. For Para will say of the children of Israel, they are bewildered by the land. The wilderness has closed them in. Then I will harden Pharaoh's heart so that he will pursue them, and I will gain honor over Pharaoh and over his army, that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord, and they did so. Now, 
it was told the king of Egypt that the people had fled, and the heart of Pharaoh and his servants was turned against the people, and they said, "Why have we done this that we have let Israel go from serving us?" Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so、uh, back to the story. So what happened was,、uh, you know, the law actually told told them,、uh, you know, to to turn from、uh, the direct, you know, landline. You know, he could have come out this way. He would turn this way. So the pharaoh thought, oh wait a second, you know, they got confused and、uh, they got lost, and then、uh, they got stuck、uh, between the, you know, whatever and the sea. And、uh, because it, this is a dead end here, I, I'll show you. See, when you get to here,、uh, you know the 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 name uh, that uh, uh, Gerard read is、uh, means the、uh, the gap of the、uh, can canyon, <laughs> the、mm. gap of the canyon. So 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 the children of Israel got stuck here, you know, and and so what happened was the Pharaoh. Got we know that. See, you know,、uh, you go through the canyons, and then you will go out to the beach, and then there is the Red Sea here, you know, and um, and uh, you know now the name is called the Weaver. Ah,、uh, this is the ancient name, you know, the one、uh, that、uh, Gerard just read. <laughs> And and so you know they, they the children of Israel got out here you know that is、uh, not really a big plot of land but、uh, it's a little bit like a beachhead you know except、um, you know he, they they have nowhere to run you know if、uh, if you know, so it's like as if、uh, the law let them、uh, in, into a place you know that's、um, no way out and then this that is、um, you know supposed to be uh, uh, let's see. And then you know、uh, the the law told told Moses you know have them you know set up before before this、um, uh, the you know land and、uh, and then across from here and、uh, and there is、uh, also a watchtower here you know because、uh, this is supposed to be Egyptian land Egyptian uh, uh, they have a you know a watchtower、uh, you know and then.、Uh, Maybe they are sent sent it by either by、uh, pigeon or maybe a、uh, you know some kind of torch, you know a fire pile you know to to signal uh, to uh, to uh, to to the pharaoh.、Uh, they got stuck here, and so you know the 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 chariots, you know came through the、uh, canyon、uh, and then try to chase after them. And and so what happened was、uh, at right at that moment, the、uh, the pillar of cloud、uh, came over here, and then shining with one side with brightness, and and then the other side darkness. So you know there was a pillar of cloud right there, and、uh, so they couldn't approach. But you know, there's still、uh, the 15 kilometer. This is very long. You know, this is very long. You know, the、uh, the funny thing is, well, not funny, but、um, the fact is, Gulf of Aqaba is very deep. You know, maybe、um, I don't know, one mile, two miles. I, I, but、um, apparently, over here, there's、um, a, a, a shallow, uh, uh, you know, kind of like a land bridge underwater. You know, it's about Hundred feet, two hundred feet, you know, or something like that. You know, it's it's not as deep, you know, but if if you have to walk through over here, then it's very deep on the other side too. But you know, apparently the water here is is、uh, first of all, you know, the、um, I I think the Danish、uh, have sent、um, uh, some kind of um, um, you know、um, you know a survey ship. Uh, over here, you know,、uh, many years ago, and they they found. Wait a second, you know, there is、uh, kind of like a, 
a, a cello uh, water, you know, way across from here to here. <laughs> so anyway, so what happened was the Lord sent up the wind and then, uh, you know, somehow, you know, by miracle, you know, this, um, you know, there was a, a dry, dry land, you know, between, between the high waters. And so, you know, the, the children of Israel ran and then follow, you know, uh, I mean, um, you know, went forth, you know, and crossed the Red Sea. And there's the pharaohs, the chariots follow after. <laughs> the chariots follow after. Uh, but, you know, the, some of the wheels are fall apart, you know, because, uh, you know, after all, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, still uh, 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 sand on the, on the, on the, um, on the, on the sea floor. Now, here's what they found about 20 years ago. What they found was uh, there was some really odd uh, coral formation. It, those are corals. And, you know, is it possible that this coral formation was formed because there was, at one time, you know, there were those uh, uh, um, bronze, um, chariot wheels because uh, of course uh, the chariot wheels might have been dissolved because it, it, after all you're talking about 3,500 years ago but the corals would uh, would still maintain the form because uh, you know after you know it, it was uh, you know um, grown you know then um, you know they try to stay in place you know but anyway so they found these kind of things uh, in, in that uh, lens, uh, the, uh, the ocean strip, you know, I, I mean, the under C4 strip. So they found uh, things like that. They found things like that. Uh, oh. You, oh, by the way, they, they found all these, and then you know who, uh, who take the pictures? Uh, nope. It was uh, it was led by uh, a scientist who turned out you know he he uh, worked for the Nobel Prize uh, uh, Institute uh, in uh, Sweden. Oh. Uh, so he he you know he basically make a lot of money uh, uh, working as a scientist. Oh. And then so he got so much money, so uh, you know he decided to investigate this uh, theory, and then so he he was he did all this uh, uh, video. And then he wrote a book and then, um, you know, I think he, he actually have a documentary movie. But anyway, so <laughs> that was, uh, that was awesome, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway, so uh, to, to just put it all in place, you know, this is actually the Red Sea. It is not the marshland making God look lead to. It is the 15 kilometer of Red Sea here. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, this, uh, this is amazing. You know, this, this is how the law take out this, uh, the, the, the whole nation of Israel uh, as slaves to, to become a nation. You know, as he promised to Abraham so many years ago. Okay, <laughs> I'm telling you, you know. Um, actually, uh, before I, I, I'm done, you know, I'm going to share with you. I, I think you saw that um, about five months ago, six months ago, uh, on a, one of our Bible study. Uh, but I'm going to show that uh, one more time, you know, to refresh your memory and then to share with all these, uh, um, you know, other people that watch on the YouTube. Uh, you remember about, uh, uh, you know, yeah, about half a year ago, I think it's uh, either end of May or someplace. Uh, you know, this is the Jebola laws, right? This is the Google map, okay? So uh, you can actually do it yourself too. You can check out what I said, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, Now, uh, 
if you well there was uh the the mount sinai right so uh this is a place if you recognize it uh -huh. this is if you turn around turn around <laughs> i love this uh 3d thing <laughs> this is the it's in the google map uh -huh. see this is the rock of horror <laughs> It's amazing, you know. Oh. Uh, yeah. So uh, you know the the law the law show his uh, miracles and it's all there, you know. But uh, you know we just, you know the uh, the problem is the religious people, uh, they they don't have uh, as much uh, contact with the Holy Spirit, and a lot of time you know they they kind of miss out. Now I'm going to tell you this uh, picture, you know every pictures in uh, Google Map, you know they a lot of time they have the uh, Latitude and longitude. Now the longitude in this case is thirty-five point two three five. See that thirty-five point two three. Okay, this is the longitude. Okay. All right. Um, now if I take another one, uh. Take the, the one uh, near the garden tombs, Jerusalem. Now, this is the uh, near the Jerusalem. This is a garden tomb. It said uh, temporarily closed. Yeah, no one visit. Uh, if you remember, uh, this is the Damascus Gate. So this is north side of the uh, um, Jerusalem. In fact, uh, that, that is uh, approximately where the um, uh, the mosque, the Temple Mount was over here. Now, um, so over here, you know, there is a bus stop. Uh, last time, you know, we were able to uh, take, a, you know, go to the bus stop and then uh, see the picture. And then one of the picture would have shown, you know, the uh, backside is, uh, you know, um, there's a, a cliff, but I think they are picking out that picture, you know, because uh, probably someone saw our, our sharing and then they, they don't like that, you know, uh, obviously uh, the uh, people that are believe other religions or believe in religiously, they, they, they might be offended, you know, by, um, out sharing, you know, because if we talk about Jesus and people that don't believe that, you know, they don't, they don't like, <laughs> they might have taken it out. So I, you know, so uh, here I'm going to share with you uh, another way. Now, I don't know where, uh, where each one could, uh, Okay, maybe this one good. Okay, now here, here we go. <laughs> okay, this this is a side sideway. You know, see, you know, you see all this bus stop. This is the oh. terminal bus terminal, right? So they have a lot of bus here, <laughs> where the Arabs are. Uh, you know, uh, go go home. You know, from uh, from the old city of Jerusalem. Uh, but you look at over here. You know, this is the uh, that look like a skull. A skull, a skull uh, with the uh, no speech here. Um, used to be, uh, they were more for lungs, but I think some part of fall apart. And then there were two eye socket. You know, this is eye socket, and there's another one on the other side of the nose bridge. And uh, so this is like the Golgotha. Okay, Golgotha. Now. Okay, well, you know, some people might believe them. Some other people uh, might say, oh, you know, uh, don't, not sure, but I'm going to tell you. The longitude is 35.23. 35.23. The wall speed is 35.235. Uh, this is 35.230. Of course, you know, it depends on uh, where the camera was stationed. <laughs> But but you know they they are really really almost they are aligned. Okay, now the reason the reason why I uh, share this 
there's a Bible, you know, there's a picture, um, um, part of the Bible, uh, you know, that uh, Rain just read that. And that is Galatians. Remember Galatians uh, uh, chapter 4. Remember this? For this Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and correspond to Jerusalem, which now is and is in bondage with her children. Her children, you know, because uh, namely because uh, the, the Jerusalem on ground, you know, have um, killed uh, and uh, killed the Messiah, the Christ. Uh, but, you know, so, you know, the, the children, um, you know, are born in bondage, you know, so to speak. But if you look at this verse 25, uh, it has this word corresponding. Correspond or in uh, correspond, correspond, correspond. And then if you look at the new, uh, the Greek uh, uh, word correspond is 4960. See that? 4960 to correspond now to the Jerusalem. And then it's the word origin is from this word. 4960 origin is from this word. Is you walk in line. Keep in step. It is the same longitude. <laughs> like uh, when when you um, uh, have a ship, you know, in the ancient time, they pass by the harbor. And then, you know, you're waving to the harbor master, you know, you know, so, uh, you know, you are, you are, you are, you are, you know, basically in line, you know, you are, you are uh, like north and south. North and south. <laughs> Walk in line. <laughs> so correspond, uh, you know, is, is also a navigation term. Walk in line, you know. So, so uh, when the ship is a certain place, you know, and then oh, you are, oh, it's a, uh, it's a uh, north of us. That's what it means. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So yeah, back back to the back to the goal. <laughs> you know, remember, you know, uh, we we need to learn something about the goal. Let go or send. Now this is very strange. You know, let go. Yeah, you know, if you look at that uh, Exodus thirteen seventeen. You know, uh, let's see. Let's have someone read that anyway. <laughs> sure, I can read. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, give, give me, uh, yeah, okay. Sure. Uh, can you go ahead and read, uh, uh, you know, um, 13, 17, 18, and 19? Uh, 17, start from 17, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go, and God led them not through the weight of the land of the Philistines, although there was near, for God said, Lest uh, para, uh, para adventure the people repent when they see war and they return to Egypt. But God led the people about through the way of the wilderness, wilderness of the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went up a harnessed out of the land of Egypt. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had straightly sworn the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones away hence with you. Uh, actually, why don't you finish? Uh, fin sure. the, yeah. Okay. And they took their journey from uh, Sukkot and uh, encamped in Etham, in the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by, the, by day in a pillar of a cloud and uh, to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of a fire to give them light to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of the fire by night.
from before the people. Thank you, thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. You know, so uh, <laughs> that that uh, that's uh, if you look at this so uh, this words, you know, is really wonderful. You know, even though he said Pharaoh had let the people go, but actually, it's the law. It's the law, you know. Um, bring them out. You know, the law, you know, it, it said that God let them out, right? You know, the only reason why Pharaoh let, let the people go was, um, you know, their, their uh, firstborn was killed. Not just the firstborn sons, but also the firstborn animal. <laughs> so, so it is really, you know, um, you look at the world, what's going on, you know, you know, sometimes you look at the world, you know, you say, wow, how, you know, how come there's so much tragedy, so much, um, you know, hardship, so much this and that, you know, those, the Pharaoh is a picture of the devil. The Pharaoh is a picture of the Satan. So, you know, Satan, you know, try to enslave people, uh, try to punish people, try this and try that. But God is in the same time, actually, is doing something. Um, you know, you remember, you know, when Jesus was uh, born, uh, uh, Herod, King Herod, uh, wanted to kill Jesus. You know, King Herod is also a picture of the devil. And so he, he wanted to kill uh, Jesus. But the, the kings uh, from the east, you know, they, they chose uh, because of their wives from the angels, they chose uh, to go the other way. And so Herod was upset. And then so he killed all everyone that's under two. You know, yeah, it is very sad, you know, that uh, those are two years old, you know, with uh, so much hope and so forth. And, uh, but, you know, they all die, you know, because, uh, but, but the long game is, you know, uh, Jesus uh, was there you know, uh, for uh, for bigger salvation, it's not just to uh, bless the Jewish people, but you know, Jesus was there going through all this hardship and then pick up all the sin of the world for the whole world, for the whole world. So yeah, you know, in the short term, you know, there, there, you know, sadness and tragedy. It's just like now, you know, uh, the the sickness. Uh, even though it's, uh, you know, permitted under the God's law, under the auspice of the God's uh, uh, old covenant law, but, you know, the one that carry out, that one that uh, did it was uh, from the devil, you know. But at the same time, the Lord, you know, still want to, you know, he want to save the world. He want to save the world, not just the... Uh, uh, you know, because the world is 8 billion people. 8 billion people. So near end time, you know, he wants to save the world. He, he, he doesn't want to just save the church. Uh, the church is already safe, you know, even if uh, they, you know, uh, because of the unbelief in the church leadership, uh, you know, many people die early, but, you know, they, they still go to heaven. So that's not a concern, you know, uh, because uh, they have everlasting life. But what about the uh, unbelieving world? You know, so, so, you know, there has to be a much larger uh, picture, you know, so, so the, uh, the, uh, the world, you know, the Esau, <laughs> the picture of Esau, you know, would, would come to the faith, you know, that's why, you know, you have all this vision, the prophecy, the dreams uh, come true. And so that they know the God of Israel is, uh, you know, the Jesus Christ is, um, is our law. And then, um, you know, he, uh, he wants to save, you know, many. He wants to save all if possible, but not, you know, but, you know obviously, uh, you, know, they, uh, you know, many uh, choose not to. So, you know, this, this is the let go and send, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a, you know, way to look at, you know, God has uh, in, uh, in uh, you know, his plan, you know, to, uh, to uh, you know, um, all, the, all those things that happen, um, you know, they might seem tragic and so forth. But anyway, so this H7971 goal, 
you know, this, this title for the whole Torah's uh, portion is uh, very strange, very strange. Because, uh, uh, you know, if you look at uh, the, the same word, uh, actually, you know, uh, it is the same spelling is, as the 7973. It's, you know, if, if you look at, um, you know, you look it up, you know, 7971 is same as <coughs> 7973. So let's take a look. It turned out this 7973, you know, the same spelling that let go is also uh, means weapon. Huh. Means weapon is in a, another part of the Bible is mean weapon is uh, in Second Chronicle chapter 23, verse 10. Now, so, you know, this is uh, the, 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 the strange things about God's word. God's word is not like, um, you know, there's a, a lot of strict lays, uh, religious uh, leaders, you know, they say, oh, there's only one explanation. My explanation is the correct one. <laughs> so so uh, they, they talk like the ants. The ants uh, travel only, only on the surface. They cannot uh, fly. Well, I'm not talking about the flying ants, you know, but I'm talking about the ants. You know, so a lot of people, you know, they, they, they thought, you know, there's only one layer of meaning. No, uh, this word sand and gold is uh, 7973 also is weapon. Okay, you can look it up. But in another place, it's also called 7973 is the dots. He make dots and shoes. <laughs> so, so, you know, I mean, I mean, those are, uh, you know, translation uh, by the Bible scholars. So in different places, they mean different things. But that's how God is doing things. You know, you cannot force God, you know, to be, it has to be this way. Because he he said that this way, no, he he uh, he 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 has this word, you know. But in different place, it means different things. <laughs> and then in the book of Job, it means saw. Are you guys looking at it? Well, what's that mean? Well, it means that you know, in different situations, God has a long plan. God has a long plan for you and for me. Uh, but it might not be, you know, always the same. You know, but, you know, he, he always have our good, um, you know, uh, for our good. He always have plenty for our good. That's really all I can say, you know. But, you know, he doesn't have to be, uh, uh, you know, by, uh, you know, um, you know, this um, um, one, one, you know, he, he doesn't have just one plan. You know, he, he has infinite plan because he is infinite God. You know, he is, you know, he's the real God. That is what God is like. You know, uh, even his word is so, uh, so high. His thought is higher than our thought, you know. You know, it is, uh, you know, you, you don't want to limit him. You know, because a, a lot of the problem with the religious world, religious leaders, uh, they try to limit him and say, oh, you know, I believe God is like this, you know. <laughs> so so that's why the fallacy was like that, you know, and and uh, they could not accept, you know, the, uh, the supernatural. Now, so is it uh, something like that in the, you know, well, you know, um, I, I see in Roman uh, chapter eight, uh, verse one, you know, um, that is, that is, um, you know, uh, one of the understanding. Uh, who is going to read this for us? Hello. Okay. Roman eight one, there is, <clears throat> there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the fl uh, flesh, but after the spirit. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Now, 
this is the we um uh, because uh you know remember in six and seven you know we have a lot of picture of God talking about his son that uh you know we 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 don't marry to the uh, l a w we are married to Jesus you remember that in chapter seven and then you know and 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 there's a lot of pictures in um you know in the previous chapters about you know the how God sees us and then we say, oh, you know, that uh, maybe when you are in heaven, we will be like that. But no, that is all present tense. So God, the Father, already sees us as his sons. And that, you know, if as, as long as we're holding on to Jesus as, as the closest, not, not, your, not your husband or wife, not your sons and uh, or, or your fathers on, on earth, but you know, Jesus is our the closest one. Jesus is like, um, you know, um, you know, our, our closest. You know, um, you know, um, everyone, you know, that uh, believe in Jesus Christ as the Savior, you know, we are we are follow Him. We are the followers of Christ. We are the sons and daughters of God. We we are the sheep. He's the shepherd, you know, uh, you know, for the church, you know, we, we are the blind and he's the blind. Group. So, you know, it's all describing, you know, that we are like, like a, a tree, you know, we, we, you know, we, we are closest to him. So, so that is how, you know, we are walking after the spirit. Okay. But, you know, actually, this translation is actually quite, uh, not quite getting it. Even though this is the best of uh, oh man. Now, I'm showing you. This is the original uh, Greek. And then if you read, you know, there is now, therefore, no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus, not according to flesh, who walk, but according to spirit. So, we are actually not supposed to walk out according to flesh. We are rest. Rest in the flesh, but walk according to spirit. So the walking part is totally according to the spirit. Well, you know, how, how does it work? You know, well, <laughs> you know, like I said, you know, because, um, you know the 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 scripture in the Old Testament. Uh, you will find, you know, the law have different things for different people. You know that's why he's he put the Holy Spirit in you. It's like the GPS. You know, the Holy Spirit is in you. He guide you this way. He guide you that way. You know, and and then or you know, everything that work. Um, you you have to have this kind of faith. You know that. That there is no more condemnation because you have the righteousness of God. You are in Christ. You are with Christ. The Christ is with you. Holy Spirit is in you. Okay. And then the rest is up to the Holy Spirit to tell you. <laughs> I cannot tell you because everyone is different. Okay. Now, if you have the understanding that your, all your sins are forgiven, there are no more condemnation on you. And you have the righteousness of God in Christ because you are in Christ. You know, where, you know when you have this kind of faith, that kind of belief, then what happened? What happened is the rest of the chapter, uh, Roman chapter 8. And then you will notice this is all things. All things. Give us all things. And all these things. In other words, you know, uh, a lot of times, you know, when when we do not accept that, you know, the Lord already uh, finished all his work on the cross. Uh, and then, you know, we still have a condemning mind, you know, as to other people and as for myself. Then, then I don't really, you know, uh, know that I have the righteousness of God in me. 
then you know all these you know spirit things you know cannot manifest itself. You know the manifestation comes from you know when you uh, keep uh, meditate on those God's word. You know, and then you realize you know uh, your sins are all forgiven. Uh, Jesus already um, you know have done it all for us, and uh, it's by grace and not by work. And um, and then you know all all these things. That's why how we know. See, you know, a, a lot of people they go to church and they listen to you know reading of this, but you know they they actually do not know it uh, spiritually. They they know it just by head knowledge. Uh, they can recite this, but you know they don't really accept it in the heart. They don't realize that uh, that is how crazily good our law is. You know, the, the law take out the whole nation of Israel, cross a 15 kilometer Red Sea, you know, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and build up the nations, you know, since that time. You know, even though they were dispersed, you know, but still, you know, the law keep it. That is the, 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 you know, you see them and then you know that God is a God of miracle and blessing. So, well, what's the difference? You know, the difference is, you know, uh, we are not practicing a religion. We are not uh, following the old covenant. Uh, you know, because the old, old covenant, the, the Ten Commandments is cursed. You know, it doesn't give you blessing. You know, it, it promised blessing if you fulfill all. But then you find out, you know, you cannot. You know, by now, you know, you've been Christian a long time. So uh, you should just keep in mind, you know, the way the Lord has done it is all by grace. And it's all from Jesus, no more Moses. You know, Moses cannot, uh, you know, Moses is a man, you know, it's not God. So, you know, our Lord Jesus, you know, uh, give us, you know, the salvation, you know, he's the hero. He's, he, he give us a blessing. He's the, he, he's done it all, you know, with the finished work of Christ on the cross. Okay. So now I'm going to tell you something new. Well, uh, I might have mentioned it before. You know, this is, um, um, you know, one of the um, story about um, they found in the, uh, uh, Dead Sea Scroll, uh, those cave, and uh, they found those uh, uh, tablets. You know, remember that tablet? <laughs> the the tablet they found, um, uh, and they they found the Ten Commandments in there. Hmm. You know, in other words, they have they have those uh, uh, in the ancient times. Uh -huh. They have the uh, they have some of those that uh, are uh, in the uh, cave. Uh, I forgot forty uh, case four or forty, yeah case four cave. You know like you know number four, and uh, so they found those. Uh, apparently, when in the ancient time they recite the uh, ten commandments and they put it on their tablet, but now they don't. So, so. There is a real big difference. In other words, even the, the even the uh, Jewish uh, 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 people that uh, are very devoted, they found out you know you you touching the Ten Commandments, you cursing yourself. Yeah. That's why in the uh, last thousand years, they no longer recite that on their on their uh, Ten Commandments uh, daily. They don't put it in the daily prayer anymore, but they, they used to do it. You understand? <laughs> mm. Because uh, they found, you know, um, apparently, uh, if, if you go to those, uh, uh, you know, museum or wherever, actually, I can show it to you, but uh, um, I got other things to show. <laughs> so many good things. Uh, they. Now this is the this is this is the uh, you know uh, what I cut out, and then this is the picture. You guys see it. This is the 
the pictures of those uh, uh, little parchment. So, so they, they can put it into the tablet. So th this is the, you know, so if you go to the museum site, you can actually look up the 4Q41, um, uh, you know, on the website. And then those are very small, like, you know, a uh, couple of inches. So they can flow, uh, roll it up and then put it into the, uh, the, the leather box <laughs> or into the um, uh, masseuse. But they don't do it anymore. They don't want to touch, don't want to touch it because 10 commandments is for cursing. Mm. You know, you touch it, you're cursing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so, I don't know why those are, there are many churches, especially in, um, in America and also in Europe, they are still uh, telling people to, to promote Ten Commandments. You should promote Jesus. You should promote uh, the salvation of Jesus. You know, you don't go back to Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments is for the unbelievers. So that they can believe in Jesus. But anyway, so think about that, you know, if, if it's any good. <laughs> hmm. Well, the reason I said that is this. Uh, well, you know, I mean, obviously, um, you know, I, I, I really believe the law, the law will, uh, uh, you know, save all the people that believe in Jesus Christ. Um, so, you know, all seven churches, he, he is going to save them. But, uh, you know, uh, obviously in the, in the last day church, uh, there are shortcomings, especially from the leadership, the church leadership. Uh, and that is, uh, they are practicing lukewarm faith. And the lukewarm faith is, you know, they are not relying on uh, the gift from Jesus. You know, they, they say uh, they are uh, sufficient by themselves. And so, you know, that is like, you know, they, they believe God, uh, uh, Jesus Christ for, uh, as a savior, but they don't believe in Jesus as the healer. They don't believe in Jesus as uh, the God that blessed them. You know, somehow, you know, they are, because they are still practicing Ten Commandments. So, and then, so, you know, and then uh, I, I see this. Uh, this is in Chinese. But I, I see this, you know, it means that uh, they, those whom I love, I will discipline. And then, so, you know, um, you know, he, you know, he tell, told them to uh, be zealous and then repent. Now, that sellers and repentance is sellers to Jesus, to, 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 to be sellers, you know, to have the right attitude, right knowledge and right belief. And then repentance is not about sin. The repentance is about how good God is. God is going to bless you. And then, so that's why, you know, anyone that opened the door, because, you know, it's like Jesus is left outside the door, you know, in the churches. Uh, I'm not talking about one church particular. I'm talking about, you know, all those denominations. Um, you know, they talk about, you know, trying to do good, trying to uh, be charitable, trying to, you know, uh, you know, this and that, you know, but they, 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 they don't talk about Jesus. Okay. Now, uh, I think, I think we have uh, read this before the Deuteronomy 7, 11, 15. You remember that? Yes. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's have someone read that anyway. So uh, someone to read from uh, 11 to 15, please. 
Okay. 11. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes statutes, and the judgment, which I command three thee this day to do that. Wherefore it shall come to pass, if ye hearken to these judgments and keep and to do them, that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he swear unto the fathers, their fathers. And he will love thee and bless thee and multiply thee. Uh, he will also bless the fruit of thy womb and the fruit of their land, the corn and the wine and thy oil and increase thy king and the flocks of thy sheep. In the land which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee, thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that, that hate thee. Okay, thank you. Thank okay. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so the last outcome is very, very amazing. Is that the law will take away from thee all sickness, not just one sickness, all sickness. And then he will put none of the evil disease or Egypt. Uh, so, so, so that is the final outcome. Or, you know, the law is capable of doing that. And then he said, we'll take away from thee all sickness. Now, so th- that is good, right? Okay. But, you know, the hard part is, of course, you know, uh, therefore it shall come to pass if you hearken to this judgment and keep them and do them. Wow, that's hard. Because um, that the law of thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy. Now, so if you hearken to this judgment, this judgment means all of them. How? Wow, you know, this is hard. How can, how, how can we do it? We, because uh, none of us, uh, you know, all of us know, you know, we, we cannot meet up to God's standard. But it turned out, you know, <laughs> that is the Old Testament. And then, and then you find out this, all these verses have no comment in the original Hebrew. You remember that? Mm-hmm. So there's there's no comma, you know. Well, I, I mean they, they they try to put things, you know, but there is no no you know not not the kind of comma, you know that, you know, um, you you look you look at the original uh, you know manuscript, you know, there's no no punctuation, you know, and and so so you know uh, so if you go back. According to the New Testament, if you listen, there's a word, you listen. You listen and, and you know, the, the action word is listen. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, from the Lord. From the Lord. And then you put a comma here. And your God will keep with you the comma. Yeah, he will keep with you. Uh, but you know, it is, it is his doing. He sent his son to die for you, to reason for you, to finish all the work for you. Now, and then what happened? What happened is he is going to bless you with the grain, the wine, and the oil. This is where what, but uh, in many of the passage, you know, he is going to bless you with that verse. And then he is going to bless you, uh, you know, uh, with material gains. But, you know, particular mention of grain, the wine, and the oil. And then what would happen? The next verse is amazing. You shall be blessed above all people. You shall be blessed above all people. So in other words, you know, when you understand, you know, that Jesus with you, Jesus bless you, Jesus uh, 
uh, send the Holy Spirit, and then you know your body is a temple of Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is in you, with you, and um, you know, and through your through your uh, journey, you know that He is blessing you, and then you 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 look up to Him in every way, then you shall be blessed above all people, all people, and then after that, you know, no terrible disease. He will take away from all sickness and, you know, take away all the, you will have none of the terrible disease of Egypt. That is the promise of God. Just uh, like he, he took out the, the children of Israel from, from slavery <laughs> to, to become a nation. That's why, you know, you shall be blessed above all people. Because of Jesus Christ. I see. <laughs> you know, I, I think I, I got the wrong slide, you know, because, uh, uh, oh, wait, wait. Okay, this is the English one. <laughs> the, the, you know, I, 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 I thought, wait a second, you know, I thought I put in English, but it turned out it's the next one. <laughs> okay, another one, you know, quick one. Uh, this one, you know, you, you will notice. Luke uh, chapter 24, we already said it. So uh, with the couple, the husband and wife uh, in, uh, in, in Emmaus, and then he sat at the table with them. Then he took bread, breast, and broke it and gave it to them. Then, then their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished from their sight. Now, you, you know this part. But further on, when he went back to Jerusalem, and then the way they tell the couple, tell the 11 apostles, you, you know what? How he was known to them in the breaking of bread. That was the amazing part. So in other words, they say, after we have the communion, then uh, we get to know him more and more. <laughs> see, see, you know, he, he know him. He knew them, and then he was known to them in the breaking of bread. So when you have the chameleon in the right manner discerning his body, you would get to know Jesus. Well, when the Lord Jesus seated with you, who can be against you? You understand? <laughs> you know, it's all in the, in the scripture. I tell you, you know, thank you, Jesus. Okay, this one is in, uh, you know, in closing. You know, this one is in the Acts chapter 2, in the chapter of uh, the day of Pentecost. Now, remember that, you know, you know it was re uh, recorded that they continue steadfastly in the apostle doctrine, so, so taking lessons uh, by the apostle, and then also have fellowship with each other, and then in the breaking of bread and in prayers. So, this is four items. Uh, they were listed, you know, and prayers. Prayer is important, of course, right? You know, praying for uh, uh, people, praying for many, praying for themselves. But in the breaking of bread is among the four items. <coughs> and they continue steadfastly, means they do it constantly. And then, so continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking of bread from house to house. So they have holy communion at home too. You know, uh, when uh, people visit or just among their, their family and then they doing it daily. <laughs> so so that's the, how, how they, they see, it, see the, the uh, uh, holy communion is um, so much importance. I'm just telling you. Now, a lot of people, a lot of, uh, you know, for th thousands of years, you know, the church, uh, different churches carry the man's tradition and saying, hey, you know, if you, you have sinned, you have uh, not uh, repented from that sin, don't, don't take communion because uh, you will die early. You know, this is the, 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 the worst they, they, they would use. But I'm telling you, that is not the correct uh, interpretation. If they drink judgment to themselves, not discerning the lost body. In other words, they, they just say, oh, it's a symbol. 
it's a symbol. So uh, we do it. Uh, we we want to uh, remember, uh, uh, you know, the the work of the law. You know, da da da. No, this is actually for blessing. This is actually for blessing. And then so you know, because uh, they don't discern, you know, uh, I found out, you know, actually, uh, I'm sad to say, you know, like there is some denominations they they um, or many people. You know they believe in Jesus Christ, but they only take communion one once a year. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of them, you know, like in uh, Acts chapter two, they take it take it daily, and from house to house. But you know now, you know they they don't take it any, anymore. I know there's some denomination they don't actually they abolish it. Really? Yes, I I found out. You know, and it's sad to say. You know, um, I found out uh, uh, like a. Uh, the apparently the Salvation Army, they don't practice that anymore. Mm. I, I don't know who decided, but, uh, you know, it seems like, you know, uh, and I'm sad to say too, you know, I noticed that uh, some of those pastors that I know from uh, some denominations, uh, they are sad, uh, sadly, you know, they they have uh, all kinds of sickness and, and uh, you know, some die early. So, you know, I, I think, I think, uh, I think, uh, you know, it was because uh, they are not discerning the lost body. They, they they don't accept the supernatural power of God. Mm -hmm. They limit themselves, you know, to to only, uh, you know, the uh, the teaching, uh, you know, try to be a good person of Jesus. They don't realize, you know, Jesus is real God, and then His word, you know, carries supernatural power. Uh, so spiritual means supernatural. Okay. Now, and uh, this is the last one. Last one uh, is uh, in Book of Revelation, you know, before the opening of the fourth seal, because the fourth seal uh, is talking about the, uh, you know, a pale horse and that, that represent death and a pandemic. You know, I think the Ch Chinese translation said that, you know, the death means a pandemic. Mm. Okay, now, uh, but, you know, there's a uh, very strangely, the words before, you know, it mentioned about wheat, barley, and oil and wine. You no, know, it's not in the same order, but, you know, <laughs> but it is for you to understand, you know, this is the antidote for the people that believe in the Bible. Because the Bible is God's word, you know, so, uh, you know, it's not like, um, you know, it just uh, happened to be there, you know, just for fun. Yeah. So, well, I mean, as usual, you know, uh, we already seen what's going on in the world and then it, it is still the same. But, uh, you know, I, I still need to say it. Um, see, um, uh, this is uh, the today's uh, paper. Uh, you know, it is the same thing. Africa is only 3.47%. And then um, uh, Asia, which has 60% uh, population is only 22.39%. And then, so what's that mean? Well, what it means is the, the other parts, you know, like in Europe and then uh, in uh, South America, North America, Central America, they seem to have a disproportionately high uh, uh, infection. And, and so what's that mean? Well, what it means is, you know, you know, the, uh, the places where they focus on religions and not believing uh, Jesus uh, to heal them, um, it's not helpful for themselves because, uh, you know, where they practice Ten Commandments, uh, they, uh, you know, it's not their intention, but uh, they overthink themselves. They are trying to do work, you know, but that thing away, you know, because God, the Lord uh, want to bless, want to save the world, want to save the world. So I think, you know, this is one of the way, you know, because uh, the Lord know that, you know, those people believe in Jesus Christ as Savior, they will be taken. Um, even if they die early, they will be taken to heaven. Okay. But they don't believe in uh, their Jesus uh, 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 as the healer. Then then, you know, uh, you know, Jesus is not going to honor uh, something that, uh, because he's not going to force it on people, on his blessings. 
you know, you you know, he already offered them. But you know, you you know, people have to believe. If 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 uh, because he said that you know, uh, you you are healed according to your faith. But if you don't believe that, then you know he cannot heal you. You know because uh, God is a spirit of freedom. God of freedom. You know he gave us the freedom, freedom of choice. You know he 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 is not a slight Satan. Satan is you know want to capture people, enslave people. You know, um, you know that is a totally evil spirit, but. God is, you know, he, he is freely, freely, you know, all the miracle is free. Uh, but, you know, it has, you have to come to him uh, to receive it. You have to look up to him, look unto him. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, we, we kind of, you know, have to uh, revisit this, you know, so, uh, you know, other people would know too. Like uh, a lot of uh, uh, places, uh, they rely on John Hawkins to uh, collect all the data. And um, as you know, uh, this is uh, January 29th, so this is recorded today. And it's the same thing, you know, all those um, uh, top 30 uh, countries, um, uh, religious countries, where in the past or in the present, they they promote Ten Commandments. They they talk about you know um, you know have, uh, have to have repentance of sin you know and so forth. They so they focus more on sin rather than Jesus to save them. So so you know it is um, it is uh, you know uh, pretty you know um, weird. I think you know for for it, it is difficult to understand you know like for example why Singapore is zero. <laughs> Zero percent. Yeah, in, in other words, the case fatality means that you know virtually most of them that got sick, they all recover. You know, uh, because uh, if you have five percent, for example, you have five percent case fate, uh, fatality means uh, you know, say if you have uh, one million people got sick, uh, and then fifty thousand would die. You know, that that is a very big number. Okay, so so you know, uh, yeah, you know, other religions have problem, of course, you know, but uh, uh, a lot of religious country, basically, it's all religious country, and uh, they have problem. Now, so, well, what's the remedy? Um, you know, I, I I know, you know, when I share this, you know, a lot of people would uh, laugh at that, but you know, I I have to say it because um, the places where they promote. Uh, they have people that promote um, gospel of grace, 100% grace, that teach uh, holy communion for blessing, for healing, uh, not just one day. You know, uh, like Joseph Prince have been doing it uh, 20 years or more. Uh, you know, I, I only find that out only last few years. But, you know, and then also uh, in uh, some churches in Taiwan, and actually some ch uh, Chinese churches on YouTube, and uh, and I'm sure there are others, but you know, uh, I mean, there are reasons why uh, certain places they have, uh, you know, much lower death rate and much lower, and they have more blessing, uh, because uh, God's word is true. You know what what we talk about is God's word. You know when when you believe in Jesus Christ as the full God, the only true God, you believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord Savior. Our healer and and uh, and our friend, you know, <laughs> then then uh, that's what you get, okay? Because uh, you know, you know, you talk about eternal life, you know, not just, but not just that, you know, but also abundant life, yeah. Okay, guys, yeah, thank you very much. You know, uh, we we of close. You know, we have a yeah past nine uh, nine o'clock already. Dear Lord Jesus, I'm just thankful we have uh, this uh, good study. And I'm praying for blessing. Yes, uh, Lord, yeah, the sound of my voice, I'm blessing um, all the uh, people that attend today, uh, but also their family, their, their relatives, their children. Uh, Lord Jesus, I'm praying for blessing, protections, healing, provisions, and shalom peace. Uh, bless them every day. 
be with them and uh, give them joy and peace. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But I'm also uh, praying for the blessing for all those people that watch the video and a blessing for them, blessing um, uh, for them to receive, uh, you know, healing, protections, provisions, and, um, uh, and uh, shalom peace, and uh, that uh, they be blessed uh, uh, along with their, their, their house, their families. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> Okay, good night. Thank you. Hey, thank you, guys. Thank you. And, you know, have a good day and good week. You know, God love you. Thank you.